Welcome to the Fossil Cabinet episode 4, which today is on Hern Bay fossils. First I'm going to show you some fossils in this box that I take with me on field trips. Number one here is the chimeroid jaw, part of its jaw. The, the chimeroids were cartilaginous fish. So rather than bony skeletons, they had cartilage cartilage skeletons like sharks and rays. Number two here, this comes from a shark. These, are these vertebrae from sharks aren't normally preserved as fossils, but uh, occasionally you do get them. Number three, again, another fossil from a cartilaginous fish. This, this comes from a ray, a bat ray. This would be from the genus Myliobatis. These kinds of rays are still around today. And they use this flat surface to crush their prey. Rays like Myliobatis commonly feed on crustaceans that they, they sift out from the bottom of the sea. Number four. These are fossilised shark's teeth. These are very common at Beltinge. All of these fossils are about 55 million years, maybe a few more million years. Recent dates suggest around 58 million years. And this is a tooth from the, the biggest of the sharks that you'll find at Beltinge. This is from Atodus ubiquus. And these are known to be one of the ancestors of Carcharodon megalodon, who were, uh, actually I should say it's it's now called Carcharocles megalodon. It was formerly called Carcharodon because they they were thought to be most closely related to the great white sharks, but now they're called Carcharocles megalodon. Most of the sharks teeth you'll find are from species we call Stratolemia macrota, which is a sand shark. You can identify these from the striations on the back of the tooth. And if you look here, this is a picture of the back of a Stratolemia macrota showing the striations. And this specimen here is in a lovely lump of what we call the, locally we call it the Old Haven Formation. And it's part of the Horwich series. Of a Harwich series, and uh, here we've got some pebbles which are derived from the Cretaceous flint, and they have this fantastic black coloration which comes from manganese, manganese oxide, and it's full of fossilized shells. Number six here are some turtle bones. These come from the phallic formation. Here's a section of the carapace from a, quite a large turtle. Don't know which species. But, uh, there were quite a few different kinds of sea turtles and also freshwater turtles around at that time. Here's some fossilised wood. That's common, commonly found around Herne Bay. It's perhaps the most common fossil you'll find there. We also have these bivalves. These are very common. These come from the planet formation. And also this, this fossilised oyster. Very similar to oysters you'll find around, around the same coast today. And also gastropods. And above the Paleocene formations, we have the Eocene London clay. And here are a couple of fossils from a lobster, and these were found close to Herne Bay Pier. This is quite a large, quite a large claw specimen. This is just a smaller fossilised lobster. And you'll notice on these bivalves here, that this one here, you can see this drill hole, and this was made by a predatory gastropod. And if we look here, we've got a crinoid fossil. 
they, uh, although they sort of look a bit like fossilized plants, they're actually an animal related to sea urchins. And here is a not brilliant, pretty crushed fossil from a sea urchin that, that uh, I found on the beach at Beltinge. Beltinge is perhaps the, the best place to find fossils in Herne Bay. It's between Recolver Towers and and the town. And if you go, go at low tide, um, down the road, down the path from Recolver Drive, you will find shark's teeth at low tide. And you can also find them in the shingle when the tide's going out. But the best time is when the tide is out. And it's a great place for kids. And occasionally you'll also find evidence of prehistoric people. Here we have a, a flint arrowhead, which I found in and amongst the shark's teeth, so they are they are there as well. Next we're going to look at some of these drawers, but uh, we'll have to go to part two for that one.